I'm going to show you how to trim your half square triangles using a square ruler. So I'm using a comically large ruler for my little cutting mat, but this is the size that I would recommend. If you don't have a square ruler and you're going to get just one, start with a 12 and a half inch. It's a really good size to be able to cut a lot of things with. Um, the nine and a half inch is great or even smaller for these little pieces, but when you have larger cuts of fabric you need to do, um, this is a really good overall size. So I'm going to show you with this one. Um, and we're gonna get started. So I have made my half square triangle and I have pressed it open. So I am showing the diagonal going this way. And the reason why is because on your square ruler, you'll notice that there is a diagonal line going across. I want to line up my diagonal line on my ruler with the diagonal line of my half square triangle. We are cutting two and a half inch half square triangles today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that point, that two and a half inch point. So two and a half inches, and two and a half inches, that's right here on my diagonal. I'm gonna line that up with the corner of my half square triangles diagonal where the two different fabrics meet. All right, so I've got that all lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and trim. One this way, one that way. So now I have two sides of my half square triangle perfectly trimmed. We're gonna to have to flip our half square triangle over and then we're gonna do the same thing again. So now we're gonna find that line here, two and a half inches. We're gonna line it up with our half square triangle. And you'll notice that now, the two and a half inch line all the way across perfectly matches that point. We've cut a beautiful two and a half inch square line. We're gonna make sure that that all lines up. And then we're gonna go ahead and trim. One this way, one that way. There we go, all perfectly trimmed.